November is a season for remembering. We begin the month by marking all souls, when we remember all the departed, and especially those who have died during the past year. On Remembrance Day, we join with the nation in recalling those fallen in conflict and in praying for peace. And later in the month, we will keep the Feast of St Catherine by giving thanks for our communal life today and remembering with gratitude our founders and benefactors through the centuries. So today we invite you, wherever you are, to take this time to bring to mind those you love but see no longer, to cherish their memory and to entrust them to God. If you are grieving for someone, please know that the candles we light in chapel in this service are for them and for you. Even there also shall thy hand lead me, 
and thy right hand shall behold me. If I say, peradventure, the darkness shall cover me, then shall my night be turned to day. Yea, the darkness is no darkness with thee, but the night is as clear as the day. The darkness and light to thee are both alike, for my reins are thine. Thou hast covered me in my mother's womb. I will give thanks unto thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvellous are thy works, and that my soul knoweth right well. My bones are not hid from thee, though I be made secretly, and fashioned beneath in the, the earth. Thine eyes did see my substance, yet being imperfect, and in thy book were all my members written, which day by day were fashioned, when as yet there was none of them. How dear are thy counsels unto me, O God! O how great is the sum of them! If I tell them, they are more in number than the sand. When I wake up, I am present with thee. Let us pray, bringing to mind all those whom we love but see no longer. We place into your hands, O Lord, the souls of all we love. We give thanks for all that was good in their lives, for the way that their lives enriched our own, for the way they helped us to become who we are. We commend to God the members of this college community 
who have come to the end of their life's journey during this past year, those who have died in the service of peace and justice, those who have died while caring for others, those whose lives have been lost through violence, hatred or fear of difference, and those for whom the troubles of this life proved too great a burden. As we offer to God our own grief and the sorrows of a grieving, suffering world, let us trust that love is stronger than death. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who, who art, art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We join together in the words of the College Convict. O everlasting God, with whom a thousand years are but as one day, and in whose name are treasured here the memorials of many generations, grant to us who thou hast made members of this college such measures of grace and wisdom that we may neglect no portion of our manifold inheritance, but may guard and use it to thy glory. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.
The peace of God, which passeth all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God, and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you all evermore. Amen. <laughs>